Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Glad to be down here. Michael, on this Thursday morning, we're running some wire today in this wall, and we're going to insulate uh, because I have my sheetrock coming in tomorrow, and the sheeting for the outside of the uh, the openings, and I'm going to put everything against this wall. So we're going to get this wall pretty much all done today, and. Uh, I've already got a few holes drilled and thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So, let's get some holes drilled. easy enough. Now I'm just going to clean this all up real good. Make sure the splintering, whenever you drill a hole, sometimes there's wood splintering. Make sure that's okay. And uh, get it cleaned up and then run some wiring. So stick around guys for the next clip. So now I'm going to nail some boxes on. I got them marked out and ready to go. We'll nail some boxes on. And uh, then we'll run a little bit of wire. And I got to go find my staples. I got some staples. Uh, got a wire. Uh, you got to staple your wire. So catch you in the next clip, guys. guys and just like that we're done with the bulk of the wiring uh, I got to my last run that I can do right now which is over here the next one is gonna be on this back wall of the front wall whatever over here of course I got to build it first and then the home run is gonna go from that one over to the fuse box so um, again we're getting this wall done today so I can get my drywall and all that delivered tomorrow and uh, that'll go against that wall and we're moving on pretty quickly, guys. I think it's going to do okay. I'm still going to put some plastic up on the, on this side of the window, that opening. Let me show you if you can't see it. So, of course, that sheathing, that 4 by 8 uh, sheathing is going on the outside. Uh, I'm going to put some plastic right here over this whole 
but as well in between these. Then we're going to put insulation and then we should be good to go. And uh, yeah, so uh, things are moving along pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with things. And to be honest, not doing the ceiling and that wall is going to take out a lot of time and money. So uh, I am going to have to wire brush the ceiling and kind of get all the flakes and stuff off. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as painting or anything on the ceiling goes. I may just do like a rough, a real rough kind of painting and not really worry so much. Just kind of give it that old rustic kind of quick treatment and uh, just do it that way. I'm, I'm going to do some more like trim work and some caulking and stuff like that along the way. But uh, yeah, it should go fairly quick and smooth pretty, uh, pretty soon after we get this bulk, uh, the bulk of this done. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you on the next clip. So, now we're going to move on to the insulation and get that back wall insulated. Those of you that have ever messed with insulation, you know how it can be. And, of course, this is just a regular uh, cut-to-fit kind. It's not the fancy kind that has, it's all plastic wrapped. Uh, this is not comfortable to do. The best thing to do is to take a cold shower afterwards, even get some good duct tape and duct tape yourself and try to pull the fibers out. So let's get some uh, insulation going. Also a little tip, measure out what you need and then measure that on the floor. Put you a board to cut on and that way you don't have to measure every time you know where it's at. Just cut, pull, cut, pull. Just like that, guys, that's how you get insulation up. So we're not going to video the rest of that. That'll obviously take a minute or two. So we're going to get this wall done, and we'll see you in the next clip. All right, guys, and here we are. We're done for this uh, day. Uh, it's, it's early. It's only just after lunch, about 12.15 or so. Uh, but I got done what I wanted to get done, which is get this wall ready to have sheetrock delivered and so I can lean it against there. And this over here is a little crazy, but I just stripped it with some uh, one by three and it's just gonna have a piece of sheetrock right there. You know how it's gonna go. We'll have a little step down right here with a corner bead going up it. And uh, it'll be good enough. There won't really be any insulation there, but you know, it, it'll be all right with that little piece there. And plus that's an inside wall that has some insulation anyway, so it should be good. So, we're a little noisier here than we were our other place. Lots of traffic on this road. So, anyway, I'm pretty happy with what's got done. Um, I could be starting sheetrock as early as tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, it just depends on how everything goes. Uh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the covering over this window. Let me give you a look see. Let's get off the tripod here. Hey. So uh, the sheathing, the four by eight stuff that I got, we're gonna put here tomorrow and get this done. I'm gonna caulk it in real good and make sure it's all good and sealed. And once I'm all done and set, I'm gonna get some trim and go around it. You know, uh, once I get it all sheathed and whatever you wanna call it, sheeted, sheathed, I don't know. I'm not good with words. Anyway, we're gonna trim it out, make it look decent, caulk it up real good, get it airtight, watertight as best we can. And, uh, and the same thing's going to be done with this outside wall here. Uh, whenever I get it done, uh, 
we're gonna sheet it and then we're gonna put some trim around it and kind of make it good and I'm gonna put some sort of a little uh, probably some flashing at the bottom maybe uh, to try and help divert water out that way so uh, we're gonna do that um, and really I've only got oh uh, I have one more outlet to wire in I got to here we're gonna put an outlet here and that's gonna be my home run uh, we're gonna have a home run it goes up here over there into the utility room uh, which is in that door in that door right there uh, utility room and we're gonna go down to the box I'm probably gonna get someone to do that for me because I'm not good with that stuff or getting up in attics so uh, yeah and I know I got a couple of little flaws with my framing like I said I never was a great framer or anything I was a helper all my years uh, I had certain things that I did do uh, that I was good at which is drywall and painting and stuff like that uh, so anyway little stuff here and there and we'll fix as we go uh, but nothing really major uh, it's looking pretty good to me so we're gonna put drywall uh, if you can see my hand sorry uh, we're gonna put drywall up here on this and of course all this is gonna be drywalled whole wall and then but that's what I'm gonna do right there is just run some uh, run a thing of drywall through there and we'll fix her up and make it look pretty good guys I'm feeling pretty confident this is going pretty good so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed the little clip I don't even know what day it is I think it's October something I'm done maybe 11th or 12th I'm lost so let me look and see what the date is okay it is October 12th guys and uh, we're moving right along I told you when I get going I'm going so oh let me say that if I'm not gonna put a wall right here uh, since I'm not since I'm not gonna frame in a wall right here I'm actually gonna gain about four inches giggity and uh, so that's good anyway like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. Have a good day. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And uh, even when you're doing some remodeling, see y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.